Hello students, welcome to Akshara's Academy. In the previous video, we saw about Profit and Loss Appropriation Account and its format. In this video, we are going to see the capital accounts of the partners. Let's get into the topic. Now let's see the meaning of partners capital accounts and the methods of preparing this partners capital account. In sole proprietorship, there will be only one individual who will invest capital and run the business. So there will be only one capital account prepared under sole proprietorship. Whereas in partnership, there will be two or more partners. So for each and every partner, separate capital accounts have to be prepared. Let's see the different methods of preparing this capital account. Basically, there are two methods of preparing capital accounts of partners. One is the fixed capital account method and the other is the fluctuating capital account method. Fixed capital account method is where the capital accounts of the partners will not change year after year. It will remain the same unless and otherwise there is going to be any change in the capital. Suppose a partner withdraws cash or suppose a partner is going to give additional capital into the firm. In that case, the capital accounts will be changed. Under this fixed capital account method, we open two accounts. One is the partner's capital account and the other is the current account. Next is the fluctuating capital account method. Fluctuating capital account method is where the capital account will keep on changing year after year due to various transactions. So under this method, only one account is prepared. That is the partner's capital account. Now let's see the format of fixed capital account method and fluctuating capital account method. First, let's start with fluctuating capital account method since there is only one account prepared here. First, let's start with the fluctuating capital account method. Under this fluctuating capital account, the capital will be changing year after year because all transactions will be recorded under this one account. So this will be changing. So let's see how the account is prepared. Under fluctuating capital account method, only one account is prepared and that is the partner's capital account. All items relating to the partner's capital will be posted under this account. Now let's see what are the items that are to be posted under this capital account and the format of this capital account. The columns to be opened are on the debit side, the first column is for the particulars. Next for each and every partner, separate column should be opened. So here for example, I am taking two partners A and B. So for partner A, a separate column is open. For partner B, a separate column is open. Likewise, on the credit side, you have particulars. For partner A and partner B, separate column should be opened. Suppose if there is partner C, then a separate column should be opened for partner C on both sides of the capital account. So these are the columns that will be opened under the capital account. And don't forget to mention the debit side and credit side of the capital account. Now let's see the items to be posted. Always remember... The first item to be posted under the capital account will be the opening capital. It has to be brought down. So if the opening capital has a credit balance, it will be shown on the credit side of the capital account. It will be written as by balance brought down. Since it's the opening capital which we are bringing down, we write it as the brought down balance and A's capital will be shown under A's column, B's capital will be shown under B's column. Suppose the opening capital has a debit balance, then it will be shown on the debit side of the capital account. It will be written as to balance brought down. A's capital will be shown under A's column. B's capital will be shown under B's column. Now let's see the other items. The next entry will be for the additional capital. Suppose during the year A or B or both the partners are going to introduce an additional capital. Then the journal entry will be cash or bank account data to A's capital account, B's capital account. So this additional capital has to be credited to the capital account. So it will be written as by cash or bank. A's additional capital will be shown under A's column and B's additional capital will be shown under B's column. The next entry is for the interest on capital. A and B have invested capital into the partnership firm. So in return the partnership firm will pay them an interest on capital. So this interest on capital has to be credited to the capital account. This interest on capital is received by the partners from the partnership firm. So 
A's interest on capital will be shown under A's column and B's interest on capital will be shown under B's column. The next entry is for the commission. A and B, they are doing business activities, they are bringing sales and for this sales, the partnership firm may pay a commission. Okay, so the commission received by A will be posted under A's column and the commission received by B will be shown under B's column. So this commission has to be credited to the capital account. Next is for the partner's salary. A and B are carrying out business activities and in return the partnership firm is paying them salary. So this salary has to be credited to the capital account of the partners. So it will be written as by partner salary and A salary will be posted under A's column, B salary will be posted under B's column. The next entry is for the profit that has to be transferred from the profit and loss appropriation account. If the profit and loss appropriation account has a profit, then it has to be credited to the capital account of the partners. So it will be uh, A's profit will be shown under A's column, B's profit will be shown under B's column. So these are the items that will appear on the credit side of the partner's capital account. See, interest on capital, commission, partner salary, uh, profit and loss appropriation account if it is a profit these are all receipts these are all cash which is received by the partners so it has to be credited to the partners capital account okay so now coming to the debit side items the I first item will be the drawings against capital so drawings against capital means the partners are withdrawing cash from their capital so the capital value will reduce so it has to be debited to the partner's capital account and it is written as to cash or bank. Okay, A's drawings against capital will be shown under A's column and B's uh, drawings will be shown under B's column. The next entry is for the drawings against profit. See there is a difference between drawings against capital and drawings against profit. Drawings against capital means out of the capital they are withdrawing for their personal use. And drawings against profit means out of the profit the partners are withdrawing uh, cash. So this drawings has again to be debited to the partner's capital account. A's drawings will be shown under A's column and B's drawings will be shown under B's column. This drawings against capital will reduce the capital. Okay. So next is the interest on drawings. A and B they are withdrawing cash for the personal use from the partnership firm. In return they need to pay interest on drawings to the partnership firm. So interest on drawings should be debited to the partner's capital account. A's interest on drawings will be posted under A's column and B's interest on drawings will be posted to B's uh, column. Okay. Next is for the loss to be transferred from the profit and loss appropriation account. See either of this entry will come. Either it may be a loss to be transferred or it may be a profit to be transferred. The profit and loss appropriation account may have a loss or a profit as its balancing figure. So one of this entry will come. Okay. So if it is a loss, it has to be debited to the partner's capital account. So it is written as to profit and loss appropriation account. A's loss will be shown under A's column and B's loss will be shown under B's column. So these are the items to be posted under this partner's capital account. Now we have to find out the balancing figure. The balancing figure will be shown as to balance carried down. Okay and for A and B the balancing figure are shown and this balance carried down will be shown on the liability side of the balance sheet. Okay it will be shown as the capital that is due to the partners. So this is the format of the partner's capital account under fluctuating capital method. Next let's see the next method which is the fixed capital account method. Under this fixed capital account method we prepare two accounts. One is the partner's capital account and next is the current account. Now let's see the format of both the accounts. Now let's see the first account under the fixed capital account method which is the partner's capital account. See under fixed capital account method the partner's capital will remain the same. It will not change unless or otherwise a partner or the partners are going to introduce capital or if they are going to withdraw out of this capital in that case alone the capitals will change otherwise it will remain the same. Now let's see the items that will appear under this capital account. We need to open the columns, okay. 
on the debit side the first column is for the particulars next for each partner we are opening separate columns suppose if there is partner a separate column is open for partner b a separate column is open likewise on the credit side particulars for a and b separate columns are opened also don't men uh, forget to mention the debit side and credit side of the partner's capital account now let's see the items that are to be posted always the first item of the capital account will be what the opening capital it has to be brought down right so it will be written as by balance brought down okay a's capital will be shown under a's column b's capital will be shown under b's column next all items that are related to the capital alone will be shown under this capital account okay so let's see the credit side item the next is for the additional capital if you see a and b they are bringing in an additional capital during the year so it will it should be credited to the capital account it will be written as by cash or bank and a's capital will be shown under a's column b's capital will be shown under b's column so these are the items of, on the credit side of the capital account next on the debit side we have drawings against capital against the capital if the partners are going to withdraw cash for that personal use then it will appear on the debit side of the partners capital account it will be written as to cash or bank okay a's drawings against capital will be shown under a's column b's drawings against capital will be shown under b's column so there is a difference between drawings against capital and drawings against profit see drawings against capital will reduce the capital value okay so it has to be debited to the partners capital account under the fixed capital account method okay so these are the items to be posted on the debit side and credit side of the partners capital account we need to balance the capital account and the balancing figure will be mentioned as to balance carried down so a's balance and b's balance are posted so this is the format of partners capital account under the fixed capital account method next we will see the other account to be prepared under this fixed capital account method the next account to be prepared under the fixed capital account method is the partners current account so those transactions which are not related to the capital it will be posted under the partners current account so let's see what are those entries we need to open the columns on the debit side the first column is for the particulars and for each and every partner separate columns have to be opened likewise on the credit side particulars and for each and every partner separate columns should be opened mention the debit side and credit side of the current account now let's see what are the items to be posted the first item of partners current account will be the capital of the current account it has to be brought down if the capital of the current account it has a credit balance then it will be shown on the credit side of the current account it will be written as by balance brought down a's current account capital will be shown under a's column b's current account capital will be shown under b's column if suppose the capital of the current account has a debit balance then it should be debited to the partners current account it will be written as to balance brought down a's current account capital will be shown under a's column b's current account capital will be shown under b's column either of this will appear next let's see the items that will appear on the credit side the next entry is for the interest on capital interest on capital is received by the partners from the partnership firm so it has to be credited to the partners current account so a's interest on capital will be shown under a's column and b's interest on capital will be shown under b's column next is for the commission commission is again received by the partners from the partnership firm so it has to be credited to the partners current account so a's commission will be shown under a's column b's commission will be posted under b's column next is for the salary again the partners are receiving salary for the work from the partnership firm so a salary will be posted under a column b salary will be posted under b column so salary it has to be credited under the partners current account next is for the profit which has been earned under the profit and loss appropriation account this profit and loss appropriation account profit should be credited to the partners current account so a's profit will be shown under a's column b's profit will be shown under b's column 
these are the items that will appear on the credit side of the partner's current account next moving to the items on the debit side of the partner's current account the entry to be made is for the drawings against profit drawings against capital will be shown under partner's capital account drawings against profit will be debited to partner's current account so this will be shown as two drawings a's drawings will be shown under a's column and b's drawings will be shown under b's column next entry is for the interest on drawings for the drawings taken by the partners they need to pay an interest to the partnership firm so interest on drawing should be debited to the partners current account it will be written as two interest on drawings a's interest on drawings will be shown under a's column and b's interest on drawings will be shown under b's column next is for the loss if there is a loss under the profit and loss appropriation account it has to be debited to the partners current account a's loss will be shown under a's column b's loss will be shown under b's column so these are the items that will appear under this partners current account now we need to find out the balancing figure the balancing figure will be mentioned as to balance carried down so a's balancing figure is shown and b's balancing figure is shown okay so this is the partners current account format hope you were able to understand the different methods of preparing the capital accounts of the partners if the question is silent about which method to be used to prepare the capital accounts then prepare the capital account under the fluctuating capital account method under the fluctuating capital account method only partners capital account will be opened only one account will be there so use that method if the question is silent so in the next videos we will see the calculation of salary calculation of interest on uh, drawings interest on loan etc okay stay tuned thank you